Owners of a dairy farm picking up the pieces after damaging storms rolled through last night. Avery Braxton in Crawford County today. He joins us in the newsroom to tell us what he found out there. Well, Frank and Lori, there was still plenty of rain while I was out there. The rain and wind from last night had the farm in a state of complete disrepair. Piles of tin and wood highlight some of the worst of the damage. No cows were missing and so uh, nobody was hurt and so it's just really cosmetic. That's the good news for Benjamin Newberry and the Donison Dairy Farm on Rogers Road in Crawford County after a tornado ripped through central Georgia Wednesday night. Help called and said that uh, the tree had fell on top of his car and that the uh, corner of the uh, feed barn was uh, missing. And that wasn't the only thing. 100 yards of electric fence had been picked up and small plastic hutches holding calves had been completely destroyed. The farm mobilized to fix the fence first after 127 cows and calves were on the loose. Of course, it's unnerving, uh, you know, when you get out there and you see what all you got to do and you can't see in the dark. And The dairy family quickly patched up the fence in the dark, but the morning revealed extensive damage, including a semi truck tipped over and a gaping hole in the feed barn. With more rain on the way, the Newberries knew they couldn't allow all their feed to get wet, so they built this makeshift shelter and shoveled all of this feed into a pile by hand. Other barns also had tin roofs ripped apart and wood shards had to be piled up to avoid harm to livestock. All in all, it will cost a pretty penny for the Donison Dairy Farm. You think about how in the world are you gonna put, you know, these barns back with what little bit you uh, have from insurance and um, it's just, it's stressful, it's, it's hard and, and you, you, you get overwhelmed. But at the end of the day, it's all just material. The cows are okay, our family's okay, our homes are okay, and so uh, you, you do have to be reminded that, you know, it could be a lot worse. When I spoke with Newberry, he said preparing for Hurricane Michael was easy, but you could never really prepare for a tornado. Frank and Lori, back to you guys. That's so true. Thank you, Avery. The Donaldson Dairy Farm has been around for 47 years. The owners say they don't yet know how much it will cost to fix all that damage.